the ones that he went for first just happened to be closest to him. Hey guys, welcome to Pet Circle. My name is Carla and this is my friend Pippin. And together we're going to be taking a look at a new cat food out on the market called Paw and Spoon. So firstly, I'm going to talk about the food from a vet's perspective and then Pippin here is going to do the ever important taste test. So Paw and Spoon really focus on a high level of palatability because they understand that cats can be really fussy and they want to provide a wide range of textures and flavours. Interestingly, this fussiness is probably based on a instinct left over from their hunting days where cats would naturally hunt a different prey animal every day. This is why I usually recommend a bit of a rotation diet for cats um, that varies between different flavors and textures. All right, so let's take a look at the food itself. So it looks like I've been sent a box of each flavor. What do you think? We've got our tuna. Salmon, ocean whitefish, ocean whitefish and tuna, chicken and cheddar cheese, chicken recipe in gravy, and chunky chicken recipe. All right, so let's talk about the food itself and then we'll let Pippin do his little taste test. So the first thing I always look for is a statement on the packaging to prove that it's complete and balanced. Um, and this one does have a AFCO statement, which is really good. And it's also specific to the life stage. That just means that this food provides all the nutrients that your cat needs. So that's a big tick from me. I'm blocking Pippin a bit. There we go. Now I also had a look at the ingredients and it's actually not bad. The ingredients won't tell us everything about the quality of a recipe, but it is a good place to start. The protein in the recipe actually matches what's on the packaging. You'd be surprised how uncommon that is with wet cat food. So for example, the tuna recipe actually lists tuna specifically instead of just meat or fish. The other thing I really like about it is the variety of the textures. So you can see that some are in gravy and some are in jelly um, and some of them are in mints. All right, now for Pippin's favorite part, we're gonna open up some of these cans and see what they're like. What do you reckon? Are you excited? Okay, I've done a bit of a rearrange here. I've taken one can out of each box and I've made myself a little pyramid. I hope it doesn't fall down. <laughs> hey. The first thing I'm noticing about the packaging is that it's quite cute. I really like these little cans. I also really like sachets, but they are made from plastic, whereas these are made from recyclable aluminium cans. So they're quite good, hey little buddy. All right, now we're gonna scoop out each one and see what they look like. The smallest plate type things I could find are these little plastic lids, so we'll go with those. <laughs> So here we have it. Something I noticed when I was opening them is that a lot of them are quite liquidy. As a vet, I actually love that because it means that your cat is gonna get a whole bunch of hydration when they eat this food. Cats are very prone to urinary issues as well as kidney disease. So it's extra important to keep them as hydrated as you can. The other thing I noticed is that the meat is all real chunks. We don't have those sort of loafy nugget type meat concoctions that you find in some other cat food. It all seems to be genuine meat. Um, so as you can see, they're all quite different in color and texture. As far as the aroma goes, it all smells like cat food to me. I can't really tell the difference, but I would assume that your cat will be able to tell the difference. So now I'm gonna move this onto the floor so that Pippin doesn't make a complete and utter mess. And we're gonna see which one he likes best. 
Okay, I've spaced these out as best as I can, as you can see. I think as soon as I let him out of the bedroom, he's just gonna go gung-ho and go for all of them, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> What do you think? Did you like all of them? I think you liked them all equally. Well, I think it's safe to say that Pippin liked every single one of those flavors. He didn't really seem to have any preference. The ones that he went for first just happened to be proximity-wise closest to him. You are being so smooch. Oh my gosh, he's biting me.